In this Stratusforms video, I'm going to show you how to use one of the new Stratusforms features of promoting repeating content to a child list within SharePoint. Uh, one of the requests that I've gotten a lot from a lot of users is they want to easily be able to create views and reports for all of those repeating content that they have. Now that they can create their repeating content, which they really like, they want to be able to report on it as well easily. So I've added the functionality in version 1.1 to allow you to take all of your repeating content and promote that to a child list within SharePoint. So let me walk you through uh, how to do all that. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the sample form that comes with the download that you get from IT Unity, uh, the timesheet entry sample, and we are going to promote uh, the rows for the time entries here. We're going to take these rows and we're going to promote them to a new list that we create in SharePoint. All right, so let's go through the process and let's go ahead and create that child list that we want to promote it to. So I'm going to come in here to my site contents and I am going to add a uh, new list. So let's add an app, add a custom list, and we will call that list time. And now that that list is added, Let's go into the settings for that list, and we need to create a couple of fields in this list. Uh, the first thing we need to do is we need to create a lookup field that is a lookup back to our parent list. So the name of this column needs to be the exact same name as the name of our parent list. In this instance, that is timesheet. So it is going to be a lookup field, and we are going to be lookup from the timesheet list and let's go ahead and just choose the ID field to look up to. You can look up into any column as long as it has data, you're fine there. So we've created a lookup field to the parent list timesheet and it has the same name as the parent list. Okay, so let's create that field. The next thing we want to do is create another field uh, and this field is going to help identify which specific row in your repeating content on your status forms is the row in this child list. So the field we're going to create is called status forms row ID and this is just going to be a single line of text field. And finally we need to create any uh, columns that we want to promote from our repeating content to our child list. And to keep this example smaller, we'll just promote a couple of those fields. So we want to promote our project. And we want to promote just one day of the week. Let's promote Monday from our time entry field. So we'll promote a field called Monday. It'll be a number field. And we'll get that created. So here's our list called time. It has a lookup to our parent list. It has a field called status forms row ID, which is a single line of text field. We have a project field that we're gonna promote from our child content and a field called Monday that we're gonna promote. All right, so our child list is all set up. So now let's go into our status forms form and make the necessary changes there. So this is the timesheet HTML file. Again, it's from the samples that you can download from IT Unity. And what I need to do is within the repeating row container here, I need to specify an additional attribute called data dash stratusforms child list. And its value is the name of that list we just created, which was called time. Now we just need to simply come through here and tell it which fields in our repeating content do we want to promote to the child list. And we said that we wanted to promote the project field and the internal name for that field was project. And then this Monday field we wanted to promote. So we need to say list field name equals and the, that field name was called Monday in our child list. All right, so I told it what is the name of our child list. We specified that in the container uh, for our repeating content, and then we told it which fields we want to promote by using the list field name attribute and specifying the internal field name uh, on the child list to promote those two. So let's save the form. Let's come back into SharePoint. Let's open up our form.
and let's create an entry here. One for project A with five hours on Monday, and one for project B with two hours. So let's go ahead and add that entry. Tells us the save was successful. So now if we go look at that time list, we see there's our two entries created. One for project A for five hours and one for project B for two hours. So we can now export this data to Excel. We can create list views and we can uh, start to do more reporting on that child content. We even have a look up here back to the parent timesheet if we want to see which timesheet uh, these forms are directly related to. We can come back to our form here and we can see that it does load that 5 and 2 so I can update. Maybe this wasn't project B, it was supposed to be project A for both of these entries. I'll update that. And we look back at the time. You can see it is project A for both of those now. So it'll actually update those as necessary too. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, keep an eye out for more videos on how to use Stratus Forms. Also keep an eye out for our uh, SharePoint uh, app for Office 365 and SharePoint 2013, which is going to automate uh, all these manual processes you currently have to do for writing the HTML and creating these forms. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, any questions, stop by our channel on ITUnity. Check out the website stratusforms.com. And thanks again.